Today's video is not about real estate. Today's video is about Audible. Hi, it's Darianne from Okanagan Valley Living. If it's your first time to my channel, I'm a realtor in Vernon, British Columbia. Now, if you're thinking, what is Audible? Let me back up for a minute. So I love books. I love the look of books. I love the feel of books. I own a lot of books. I don't read very much. I own a lot of books. And in the last two years, I've probably downsized my book collection by at least 250 books. But I don't read a lot of books. In the last five years, I've probably read 10, and I think that's stretching it. It's probably closer to five, six, or seven books. But I own a lot of books. So I sort of started to feel like there's just something wrong with me. You keep buying books and you start a book, but you never finish it. And I think you better do something about this little problem you have. So I found Audible. Audible is digital books. So you don't read the book, you listen to the book. Now, I'm a real estate agent, so I drive a lot. I drive a lot in Vernon. I drive to Armstrong, to Lumbee. And then I'm also a coach, a real estate coach. So I coach new realtors. So what that puts me in Salmon Arm twice a week. So that's a 45-minute drive up and a 45-minute drive back. So that's a fair bit of time to read a book. So it is perfectly legal to, because I listen to it through my car. I don't have earphones in and I'm not listening on my phone. Well, it's on my phone, but I'm not holding my phone. So it's perfectly legal. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Audible. Here we are on the Audible site. You can see it's part of the Amazon family and I am on the home page. I have my own account here. Right now I have zero credits because I purchased a book with this month's credits. So your home page is where you will search for a book. The nice thing about Audible is after you've purchased a number of books, it will start recommending books that fall into that same category or that same interest. So that's kind of interesting. Your library is where you store all the books that you've purchased. So these are all the books that I've purchased, all the ones with the stars I have read and have rated. So you can see I've read most of them. I haven't got the brain audit yet. And you can see I have lots of stars for most of them because I think they were very good books. When I hear a blogger or a speaker or someone I'm following or interested in recommend a book or they've written a book themselves, I immediately come to Audible and I search the book. I have found every single book that I have searched for in Audible. I was worried that it probably only had certain kinds of books or a small quantity of books and you'd always have these credits adding up and never using them because you couldn't find books but i have found every single book i've looked for and then i immediately go to wish list and i add the book in there so these books i have not purchased yet but these are the books that i want to read in 2020 so it's it helps me so i don't forget the book that a, a great book that a speaker has recommended and then i can never remember the name of it it gets it into my wish list and then I can purchase it later on. So once a month, you will get an email that says we have added a credit. If you're on the plan that I am on, um, we've added a credit to your Audible account and it will show up here. And then you can come in here and go to your wish list and purchase one. Or you can go search a new book and it will come up and it will ask you, do you want to pay for it on your credit card or use your credit? And sometimes if you only have one credit and you want to get two books for some reason, you can use your credit card. You can also buy extra credits. There's a little bit of a savings there if you buy three at a time, but that just feeds into my addiction to have more books. So I just do one credit at a time and that works for me. So the other thing is because it's an Amazon company, my Alexa, the little hockey puck looking uh, speaker thing, um, also plays Audible. So the moment you um, have an account, it will link to your phone. So you can, it will show you your credits and your library and your wish list on your phone. And I take my phone into the car and run it through my Bluetooth in my car so that I can listen to the books in my car. Then I can come home and ask my Alexa to go to Audible and it will pick up right where I left off from my car and I can play my book while I'm cooking or doing whatever I'm doing in my house. So it's a great system to use time 
to read books when you don't have to sit down with a book um, and, you know, your glasses on and the right lighting. You can just, I just wander around my kitchen and listen to a book. So I, I hope you will give Audible a try. Let me know what you think. I'm going to do a, a video or two on some of the books that I've read and do my own little review. Obviously, I'm not a professional writer or reviewer, but I'll give you my opinion of some of the books that I've read that I think are outstanding and have brought a great deal to my life. That's it for now. Take care.